Yo, what is everyone saying? Welcome to another episode of the Total Nighty Podcast. Now, this week we've seen Erling Haaland finally confirmed, Nunes to Liverpool and Chouameni in other massive deals. We've seen Pogba finally sneak out the back door yet again for free of charge. So I thought, why not do a little video of the most expensive signings of all time from any time period, whatever, and rank them in order from transformative signings all the way down to the flops and the absolute disasters. Now, joining me, first and foremost, is the return of uh, the Bundesliga guy, as people are calling him now. <laughs> he, had, he had a little break to study the game a little bit, but he's back to raise the average ball knowledge of the, uh, of the panel. Fur, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing very good. Uh, I find this whole Bundesliga thing very funny, but I, I don't yeah. know. I kind of I kind of vibe with it. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be back and I'm looking forward to this video. Let's get it. Now, next up, we have... Uh, Victor's arch nemesis, or one of them, rather, I should say. Um, this guy, he's been in the lab recently watching Pablo Aymar footage, so he's here to, ah. I guess, atone for his sins. Denman, how are you, sir? I am feeling good, man. I'm very well, thank mm. you. Thanks for having me back on. I yeah, mean... Vic, Vic, Victor's a waste, man. Forget him. Damn. Damn. Uh, last but not least, he's officially the top appearance maker on the panel after myself, and he's also uh, got the top number of comments on YouTube because he's just there replying <laughs> to every single person. He's fighting everyone off with his bare hands because they weren't really happy with his takes. Uh, Mav, what's good, my guy? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm always there for a conversation, you know, but opinions, mm. everyone's got one, but uh, now nah, I'm glad to be back. And again, I, I was glad to get the vote in third place on the panel host on, on your stream. So I'll take yeah, that indeed, as well. Indeed. Yeah, and you know what? That's a wonderful segue because to say last week's episode caused mayhem in the comments, that would be... Uh, something of an understatement guys were guys were fuming so i went on twitter and i created a little community thing so you guys can go in there you can go and argue or debate or roast or do whatever you want to their panelists or just talk about football normally it doesn't matter what people are going to reply to you because we like to be interactive we read all the comments and it's not going to spam everyone's timeline so i'll put a link to the community thing down in the bio or whatever you call these things is it a bio i don't even know what it's called but the link will be there so without wasting any further time the rules are very simple it's a tier list like it can't be that complicated we've got 30 names here the most expensive signings ever it's done in euros but doesn't matter we have transformative great signing good signing underwhelming flop and disaster we'll spend one or two minutes on each player put them somewhere and then we'll see have a little debate about which ones we think need moving so i think let's not waste any time the first one should be pretty straightforward. Harry Maguire, who would like to start? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I so can't easy. lie. It's, it's, it's one of those that where I know where I want to put him, um, but I think that's my own personal bias, maybe a little bit. Um, no, don't be scared. Don't be scared. No, scared. no, 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 because it's not even that. Like, I just think mm. it is... I just think it is my personal opinion. I would say he's not the disaster I want to put him in. Um, however, I would say he is a massive flop. Um, and at the end of the day, he's never played like an 80 million pound centre back. There were points where he'd had an okay season and people were trying to overhype it. Uh, but for me, I don't think I've ever seen um, quality from him in a Man United shirt uh, that, that justifies 80 million pounds. So for me, it's an absolute flop. I'd love to say disaster, but like I said, maybe that's being a little bit too harsh. Um, <laughs> I think it's a bit harsh to like, if anyone puts him in disaster I think it's just harsh if I'm being completely mm -hmm. honest like it's not like United haven't had the opportunity to put other centre-backs in his place it's also taken into consideration as well like the reason why that fee was so high as well is because that is what he was worth to Leicester at the time mm -hmm. which looked yeah, like yeah, a quality yeah, yeah. centre-back but yeah with Maguire it's one of those and he's got to put him in flop at the end of the day he's not lived up to kind of what was expected yeah, from him what all. United fans thought at of him all. and yeah, uh, yeah. I'd, say, I'd, say, I'd say yeah Mav's right there like, right. The, the only thing that will put it like anything close to disaster is the fact that because he's the captain it's so difficult to shift this guy and go and get other like he's gonna play no matter what that is such a bad public image if you're captain and 80 million signing is uh, sitting on the bench so we I, I'll go forget. flop as well we mustn't forget there's a reason why they are starting though. Like even if the players were fit and he started over them, like it's not just because he's captain that he's starting. It's because the manager obviously sees something in him which is better than the other two. Yeah. And that's why they keep like, on getting sacked. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Are you in agreement? <laughs> there is that. Um, yeah, I think, I think I would have to agree. I can't quite put yeah. him in disaster. I don't think it's a disaster signing. I would have to put him mm. in flop as well. Um, for it. me, 
probably mostly gets the edge over the other center backs due to the fact that he's being left footed. That helps him quite a bit, in my opinion. Huh? Wait, no, he's left footed. He is absolutely right footed. He's absolutely right footed. Wait, as, as, the, as the super ball knowledge oh, just been found as, out. He plays as a left centre back, no? Yeah, he plays left centre back, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's uh, right footed. Okay. Like, hey, if I that's me, my I... head's on a stick, by the way. Hmm? <laughs> I said, if that's me saying that, me, my head's on a stick. Oh, yeah. Don't be gold 99. I didn't even need that. I was just like, I meant rather, I meant rather he's the most, like, suited to the left uh, centre back. Mm. Like, I don't I don't know out of my head what <coughs> foot a fo like a footballer yeah. what do you say prefers, I guess. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah. it's too yeah, late. Yeah. Victor already wrote his comment. Yeah, it's too late. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit the agenda. I don't I don't think you should like for, hey, it don't fit the agenda. It don't fit the agenda. Due to the foot which a <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. Too late, too late, too late. We all agree that Harry Maguire has been a flop. Next up we have Cristiano Ronaldo. This one's the one from United to Real Madrid. Uh, 2009. I think <laughs> this one is one of the one of the most easy ones we have. So I put this at the beginning <laughs> just to get it out of the way. Uh, if if uh, there's anything that is transformative on this entire list, it has to be him. I mean, the brother mm -hmm, came. Yeah. He went to La Liga. He smashed every single record. He bagged like what four Champions Leagues at uh, at Real Madrid. Four. Every single goal record at Madrid smashed. Like you can't put him anywhere other than transformative. I I don't think. I agree. I, I, there's anyone no disagree conversation somehow? here, is there? <laughs> there's actually no conversation here, is there, yeah. to be honest? Yeah, that's why I like it. I just want to get a couple of them out the way so we can get to like the, the juicier ones, you know uh -huh. what I mean? But I think... Yeah, 100. Do we all agree on that one? Oh, Any absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way you can put them... There's up, just right. no way to even sugarcoat it. It just is what it is, isn't yeah. it? We all know the, <laughs> we're on the yeah. Of course. Ah, this one should be, uh, should be interesting. We have Paul Labille Pogba. Who would like to start on this one? Are we going from the first signing to Juventus, like on the three, or are we going to Juventus to United on the? No, this so this is Juventus to United. So when they okay. paid a hundred mil, like after already having him. Do you know what? This is the, this is the maddest thing because I know Emenya knows. Mm. I've been the, a big supporter of this man for a very very long time, um, mm. but but recently his actions um, have really have really turned my head personally, and uh, for me. Damn. His period at Manchester United, um, I would have to say it has been underwhelming uh, for sure. I wouldn't quite go flop and I wouldn't go disaster. Um, on his day, Paul Pogba on his day, as we like to call him. Um, <laughs> on his day, is, on his day. <laughs> on his day is the one of the best midfielders in the world, but his day ben does come on his uh, day. very, very infrequently, let's just say. So underwhelming for me personally. Mm. I hear that, I hear that. I can't lie to you. When you were starting that speech, I thought you were going to join me. I thought you were really going to join me and then you went for <laughs> underwhelming. Me, I'm going flop. You can't go... Again, sorry, I'm looking at it in euros. I know this conversion of like, it's like 0 0.85, whatever, but 105 million euros after you already had a man for free. That's part of the relevant context as to why it's a flop of a signing because he was brought in to start doing a madness at United, get them back to the... You know, we had this convo before already in whatever video it was time ago. The, the peak Fergie times, trying to get back to them kind of levels. The team has been getting worse and worse every year. And I think the icing on the cake to cement this as a flop is the fact that he's going back to Juve, where he came from, mm. for free again. That, that can't be... For me, I'm trying to keep underwhelming to guys that are like, they're at the club now and they might show some signs of coming back next season or something. But I, I, like, I understand that. This is this is done. Like it's finished. This is a flop of a sign in, in my books. I think for me, for me, it was really difficult. Um, mm. I was kind of between the two, between underwhelming and flop. I don't think he's been like flop worthy, at least for me, mm. like, compared to some of the other signings we will be going through. Yeah, I um, I, I just kind of I kind of felt like obviously you brought up the whole Juventus to United. I'm oh, sorry, United to Juventus, Juventus back to United, mm. I and mean, obviously now situation obviously when you take all that into account like you look at and obviously it's absolutely horrendous like mm. from like the whole like business point of view and stuff like that but if you're actually looking at the player himself i'd say he is pretty much the definition of underwhelming where you kind of expect him to be a lot better and get a lot more from him um i'd Here probably it. say underwhelming in, in my opinion just that song uh. in particular so for her, your final answer was underwhelming yes yeah mm-hmm Sorry, bro. That's very <laughs> underwhelming, man. I'm sorry, bro. 
<laughs> Sorry, bro. I tried. I tried. I tried. Right. I Next know, up, we have uh, we have Joao Felix. Oh, now, this so one different. was again in euros, one hundred twenty-six million. So probably uh, 120 million pounds. One hundred twenty million, by the way. <laughs> that is a lot. Like of deep. Pizza, I can't lie. I know there's gonna That's be a lot, a lot of fanboys out here for him, but. Blame uh, go on in, then when you seem to be yeah, Devman uh, start because I might follow you. At the moment, you, man. I just, I just, I'll, I'll be yeah. real. Like, I just, I've just never seen the reason behind this whole 120 million pound tra transfer. Like, it just mm. never made sense to me. Yeah, you know, he's a young player who's doing all right at Benfica and that, but like 120 M's. But whenever <laughs> I've seen him, I've never seen anything to kind of show that he's worth anywhere near that money, and that signing can be justified. I can't call it. It's hard. To, I can't call it a good signer when he's paid, when they paid 120 <laughs> mil for it, bro. Yeah, I just I can't it. do it. It's like, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say underwhelming. Yeah, yeah. I know there's a lot of people star boy on that, but I'm gonna go underwhelming. Uh, I cannot reiterate what Demon has said uh, any more than what you said. At the end of the day, uh, for me, I'm the biggest believer that stats aren't everything in football, um, mm -hmm. and a player should never be judged solely off stats. But at the end of the yeah. day, when you're putting 120 million up for an attacking player. Um, to get the return they have out of him, which is sub 30 goals since he's been at Atletico Madrid. If you're 120 mil, your quality should shine, shine mm. through no matter what play style the team plays a little bit more than what it has. So absolutely mm. cannot put him anywhere above underwhelming. It's just, it's just not good enough. I think yeah, if there was like a category, obviously I've put these specifically, but if there was a category for like, it was the wrong move for the player himself, like he would fall yeah. into that. Yeah. Like, yeah I, I don't agree with Denman saying that like, he doesn't see anything. Like I I do, mean? I do, but like. No wait wait wait. When, to what have you spent mean, that money? Huh? No, I said I didn't see anything to, like, kind of like. like to see warrant, why like, he's see, gone like, for one hundred and twenty mil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and for me, like, Atleti is like you know you're going there as an attacker. Like, yeah, come on, man. Like, unless it's the thing is they've had a lot of mad strikers in the past as well with their Torres mm -hmm. and uh, we can list off loads of like Aguero etc. Mm -hmm. But the current Atleti right now, with Simeone the way they're moving, you can't have a young a young star like that go into Atleti there. So I'm gonna back it on the underwhelming thing. Um, I do think he can either come good eventually or just leave and, and go somewhere that's more suited to him. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. But even in the Champions League, even just in, in little snippets, you definitely see that he's a he's a player that can be worth that amount, but just not. Not to I not to Atleti, man. That I can add a, add a whole lot for me personally. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. he's not really the same kind of um, mold of strike, I would say, as all the other Atletico strikers who have yeah, been successful. For that, me personally, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think um, I would also put him in underwhelming. Although I am also pretty confident that he will mm -hmm. probably also end up in flop because for me personally the only way for him to self to like redeem himself now is probably yeah, to, to go elsewhere makes sense underwhelming draw felix this one should take us about 20 seconds this guy <laughs> arthur 75 mm -hmm. m's this is not even this is money laundering scheme like yeah, i don't think yeah absolutely i don't think anything even needs to be this brother i i don't even get it the barca uv transactions that i'm see, I. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know who's balancing the books, but <laughs> mm -hmm. someone needs to investigate. Cause that one, I won't even entertain anything else other than disaster, please. Unless someone has something, but I'm sure we're all going to agree on that one, right? Mm, he's yeah, another Morata for me. I think I think both him and Morata are players used for money laundering uh, schemes. At, at least sort. he bags sometimes. Uh, at least Morata uh, bags yeah, sometimes. Yeah, don't like, give me wrong. Least, but but <laughs> something's going on that's not right because these guys are yo-yo yeah. into clubs for prices that just don't make sense. So. Disa absolute yeah. disaster absolute disaster we have neymar the first transfer to barcelona this was 86 million euros in 2013. oh uh, yes then I, I, where would you i know where i go oh, i want to well, no, i want to hear i want to hear other people i know exactly where i mm. go with this guy i can't let's not take the piss here we're, we're all mm. we're all just talking about the top two positions aren't we let's be honest transformative or great signer it's one of them yeah, 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 yeah. like like he's absolutely incredible like he was part of arguably one of the best front threes in world football history a numerous mm. amount of iconic goals and like i said as well he's part of the best front three like one of the top best front threes in like modern history so I, mm. yeah i'm gonna go out and say yeah whack him in transformative I want to I want to agree with that because I thought about it for a good while. Um, I, I noted mm. him down as like transformative slash great for me personally as well. Mm. 
um, but I think I would personally edge it to transformative because if you don't get the type of player that he is into the Barcelona front three, you would mm. have never seen that front three. It's uh, iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even even the nostalgia merchants can't argue against that one. Absolutely. For me, this guy, the reason he's transformative is like again, like Dem Dem mentioned, to go into Barcelona, mm. who have had the front threes that they have had across history. To go in on that yeah. left left hand side, um, where players like David Villa, Ronaldinho, um, you've obviously had Alexis Sanchez, uh, even Pedro is back in his Barcelona days playing and coming in on that off that left wing. To go in there and still be considered as one of their best left wingers to ever play in that position, this guy was one of the best players I've ever seen play football um, in his prime, and and I can't argue anything less than yeah. that. Yeah, I ain't even got anything to add. Uh, mine was literally the same point. Like the only thing that was. <laughs> thinking about great is only because like obviously Barca have been Barca do you know what I mean like 09, yes. 10, yeah, 11 that's like that's like the ultimate era of that's Barca that's the only team. argument you can so, make really isn't it yeah, yeah. so I'll, I'll, put, I'll put him below obviously CR7 um, for now but we'll see what happens uh, as we go on uh, and next up wait, we have wait, uh, wait what is this picture it's wait. Kepa it's a picture it's a picture of Kepa <laughs> missing his penalty <laughs> 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 oh man oh, it's a picture of Kepa booting their pen over now since since I didn't really oh, give my yeah. thoughts on Neymar I'll start with Kepa because I think this is a disaster I'll be honest this is a disaster I'll tell you why it's a disaster because obviously first and foremost we know uh, okay these guys gave uh, Courtois to Real Madrid they're calling him snake they're calling him rat or whatever yeah, there was a lot of weird. people that were seeing that were saying on Twitter and whatever. Again, doesn't represent everyone, but it was a good amount of people saying, "Oh, we've sold Courtois and got someone better anyway." <laughs> then after dropping the the worst numbers you will see from a goalkeeper since I don't even know I don't even know how long, people are just taking shots from forty yards because they're like, "Oh, do you know what? Like it's Kepa. Let's just let's give it a go." I'm seeing man just pinging him. shots that I never seen ping it before like that, flying top bins. He was brought on. He had that whole like penalty drama with Caballero. And then you think, okay, like the drama's done. You know, he's not going to have any more chaos. He gets replaced immediately by Edward Mendy. <clears throat> and you think, okay, that's the story done. Kepa, he's flopped. It, well done. You spent 80 million and then you bought another keeper immediately to back him up. He still had another disaster. The penalty shootout where everyone has scored. Everyone's just bagging and they're going and going and going. And who misses the final penalty? Kepa booting it over the stadium. That... So, that's a disaster for me. I can't lie. To replace him immediately <laughs> and just sitting oh on bench. That's my a disaster. God. I, I, I can't lie. You lot can give your thoughts on Kepa, but I, I know mine already. So yeah. Do you know what? I was gonna, you know, I was gonna just give him benefit of the doubt and put him in flop, but you've yeah. just pretty much sold disaster to me. I'll be, I'll, I'll be, no, I ain't gonna lie. You've, you've sold it to me. I'll be real. I was, I was no, gonna man. put him in flop, and you've completely just persuaded me and changed my, like, changed my opinion from flop to disaster. So I'm just gonna back it and keep Bro, it moving. Bad. Yeah. Like, I'm that backing shows, disaster, that, like, the play. only thing they're lucky for is that it's Chelsea because Chelsea have the ability to make these massive errors and just replace it straight away because they're, yeah. they're ruthless like that. Other clubs <laughs> would just keep him starting. Yeah, like, we'd have him in the club the for next. six years, mate, and go. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Mav, oh, you, you used it. to be a, a Kepa underscore defender. So the, 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 only thing, on the only thing more disastrous about the transfer was me trying to defend him at to some him. point <laughs> in my time. Um, I really, I really thought that that because of the transfer fee. Um, I'll be honest, mm. uh, because of the transfer fee, because again, what a lot of people were saying that watched him in La Liga, um, and again, it's why mm. I'm on to people that try and suggest uh, La Liga is a good league to me. I'll, uh, guys like Kepa are, are why I'll never back it. Um, that we're on saying he's a great goalkeeper, he's better than Courtois, so on and so forth. I just couldn't believe that he was as bad as he was. So I even went as far as saying that it was the defence in front of him um, that mm. were letting him down. Um, how can a man move to his right-hand mm. side in the penalty shootout and still get packed in by a centre back, you know, and <laughs> VVD walking away looking at him. I can't, I can't, I cannot, I cannot yeah. believe you've been subbed on and packed in that bad. It's, uh, and it's not even the first time either. It's the second time it's happened. Bro, no, you're he a keeps joke. on doing you're this. Man. You're a joke. You're a joke. He's actually a joke. Like that. Nah, absolutely disaster. Uh, I, I, I thought I would maybe put him in flop before you started talking yeah. but like the way <laughs> you sorry. kind of the, 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 the way you kind of described his history with Chelsea and everything just there was nothing bad, good about it bad. it's yeah. disastrous so yeah I would agree I'll, I'll put him there 
I'll put him there. Uh, up next, we have someone that we spoke about recently, so I guess we won't spend too long on him. Uh, Jack Grealish, obviously 100 M's in pounds. That was last season. We spoke about him in the other like video, like two episodes ago or something. So I think, do we all disagree? We just go like underwhelming. He probably can yeah. bring yeah. back next Have season, to. most likely. I, I, yeah, we yeah. like I said, we covered it in the last video. I, I, I don't have anything extra since that's happened to add. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Have to. Yeah. This one is one of the, the more stranger ones because most of these are from like 2013, 14, 15 onwards. This brother here, 2001, Zinedine <laughs> Zidane, Crazy 76 money. million euros to Real Madrid. Um, that back then, that's a crazy that's amount. Crazy. What? 2001, by the way. Outrageous. Yeah, insane. Oh, Outrageous amount. Like, and yeah. yet somehow, it's probably still justified, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably still justified because oh, I had yeah, a look absolutely. here. I had a look to just 100%. to like clarify because obviously I don't know exactly what was going on with all the transfers, yeah. but he was like the first like superstar of the like galactical eras before they started bringing like r9 and beckham and so he was like the main they had like i think makalele and someone else the year before that but he was like he was the guy in it and i think to define a whole generation of that galactico's era you have to be transformative slightly mm -hmm. huh i feel like that is the definition of high risk high reward mm. in terms of high risk i mean the money they paid um, Bro, where are you even then, getting that piece from? <laughs> and like the high reward, like there's there's nothing more to say. We spoke about Zidane mm. in like I think it was the was it the last podcast or the podcast before when we were speaking about like midfielders and stuff. Yeah, yeah last like, just how yeah. how amazing it. Yeah. Just chuck him in, transform it. There's not really much to say. It's like Ronaldo. Yeah. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll keep Ronaldo first though. I think Ronaldo's thing is just a bit like yeah, it's a bit yeah, outrageous. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit outrageous. I, there's no one that can yeah. go above Ronaldo ever. Like in, in, yeah, in terms of transfers, the only person yeah. is if mm. Messi moves somewhere did what messi did but uh, you know we know he's what the most transformative yeah. signing ever for sure oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah you know yeah. <laughs> careful careful careful, <laughs> careful. No comments. the guys out there yeah. they're ready they're ready careful. right they ready. Uh, next up this one's gonna be kind of interesting you know um we have manchester united lukaku manchester united lukaku this one was uh 85 million euros 2017 obviously from from everton I'm honestly not sure where to put him. So if any of you know where you want to put him, you go uh, ahead and, and take the stage. Good. Just a good signing. Mm. Um, I, I agree. The, the, re the reason it's not underwhelming is because at the end of the day, he still scored goals. Um, I believe his best season mm. at United was 17 in the league, 16, 17 in the league. I don't think he was terrible, but I also don't think he was mm. a, like, a great signing for them. He didn't really do what they expected. So just good for me. Right. I hear it. Anyone agreeing with that one or any strong disagreements? No, with... I agree with him. There's not really much more to really input apart from that. Yeah. Really. Like, he come to United. I know I know people tried doing this whole thing about like, obviously he wears uh, Timberlands and that. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 tried, like tried doing him dirty, like that kind of like, yeah. like knocked his stocks down a bit. But look, let's be honest, like he, mm. he was he was a good striker. Like he was a very good striker. It was a good sign in like, yeah. He deserves to be a good sign. I don't think he deserves to be an underwhelming because he did fill his boots. No yeah. pun either. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what it is as well that like it's, it's, it's a relevant, it's a relevant factor as well. The fact that obviously he had his couple of years, he did bag as much as he got mean. He did bag. Yeah. 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 And to be fair, when he left, it was for about eighty m's as well. So it wasn't like they lost, lost like a of money massive him, yeah. amount of money. So you got a factor there. So I'm I'm done with good. Fur, are you cool with uh, slapping him in just good? Uh, yeah. So, just just for the if you 17... disagree feel free Go. no no just for the 17 18 right. season i think i can agree i was kind of wavering yeah. between underwhelming and good but um yeah. i don't mind to put him in good at all especially because of what you mentioned just now that he actually went again for good money chelsea's a different thing yeah we'll get to chelsea okay. one you don't worry about that one we'll get to there <laughs> but next up we have uh, antoine yeah. griezmann. Yeah, griezmann now this price was let me just okay so 120 m's yet again 2019 Ooh. to barcelona Ooh. Um, well, i didn't know it was that much yeah well okay so in power it's about 105 m's 104 m's i, I um, think he's the sixth most expensive of all time i'll be <laughs> honest it's hard, if it's man. me I don't want to start doing... I feel like I'm the one that does propaganda for disasters here so that <laughs> everyone can change their mind. But it is worth noting, yeah, that... Like, I think at the time, it didn't really seem like it was a good fit already. But he was yeah. a player that you could say might be worth that amount to someone else. 
but not to to Barcelona with what they had. He started off. The I was so surprised there. by the transfer back then. I remember. Yeah, yeah. and and yeah. what makes it worse is that like he has been, I suppose, one of because there's another player in here that we'll speak about when we get there. One of the poster boys of this uh, like disaster class of a Barca era where every single transfer is just oh, way they've worse. Had, they're they've had bread. an absolute stinker. For, for Bro, they can't now, even like PK policy. is asking for bread. PK is saying like, "Yo, like my money, I've not been paid." Like he's just a regular Bro, where's, nine where's to Malcolm five worker. On this list? Do you remember Malcolm? <laughs> uh, yeah, I Malcolm. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, uh, Barca yeah, can yeah, have yeah. bear man. I can't lie. Some <laughs> stinkers. Oh my god. So it's it's <sighs> with I don't I don't want to say disaster because like <sighs> it's between flop and disaster. I'll be honest it, with you. I, it, I can't put it. It's one of those. It's one of those. I actually don't really like. I know we're meant to. I don't really have an opinion mm. on this brother because like I, I do I, I I like if you said disaster I'd probably back you if you mm. had a strong argument if you said flop I'd back you if you said underwhelming I'd back you yeah. the sole reason being is that I can sit here from watching Barcelona play when he was there and say that he was part of the reason I feel that an age of Messi was still able to get the numbers he did get because if you watched mm. him his work rate in that squad was absolutely ridiculous he would That's cover weird, so, so yeah. many miles per game and that yeah. allowed messi to be lazy in in coming back sorry messi fans that i called him lazy but the fact of the matter <laughs> is he was being very lazy i didn't know it was that much so price alone yeah. though it does pull him towards the disaster just for the crazy price but i think oh, he yeah. actually played really well for them but not out in we'll, we'll, we'll let them or, or, or for swing it then i think he wants to uh yeah, i'll be honest i think i think disaster might be a little bit too harsh for it to be honest they're pushing it, it's um, like, yeah 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 because obviously when he first went to barca he was he didn't like it kind of struggled to start get going with messi and like linking up with like the other players and stuff mm. But after like the first few months and stuff, he did start finding form and he started finding like little assists here and their little goals. And like Mav says, obviously yeah. like just linking up the play really with Messi and stuff. And they kind of just kind of grew on their connection. I mean, has um, João Felix done that much more than Griezmann to put Griezmann back down into like flop and disaster? That's the question I want to ask. Because I guess the thing with Griezmann is what is done to the rest of the club, man. These lot can't assign players, bro. <laughs> He's yeah, but like that's, a, that's, yeah, but that's a what, major. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get but it. But that's yeah, part of a yeah. signing, though, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's not just about to, like, like was yeah, he good, was he good or not. You do have to factor that stuff in, mm -hmm. in it. You know, I yeah. think disaster's a bit too far, personally. But I'd probably I, say I'm flop. To go flop under, if, I wanted to say under one, but I think if it's flop, then I wouldn't argue it. Um, yeah, some you know good phrases here and there. I would even say for Barcelona, but he wasn't anything amazing. So if if I look at it like that, footballing wise, he would probably be an underwhelming for me. But financially, disaster. Yeah. It was horrible. Yeah. Even when he went away now. So yeah, yeah I would I would just yeah, about think, put I him in the middle good, for yeah. me and flop. Yeah, fizz. Um, so far the trend we're seeing here is that most of the best signings ever didn't really go too well. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> next up we have someone who again this one could be up for debate as well. We have Kylian Mbappe, of course, Kylian Monaco Mbappe. to PSG five years is, ago is this debatable 180 m's i don't think well i don't know man. where I do you want to put it it depends what is is this debatable uh, all people, all people okay, are going to say to you all people uh, are going to say to you mav is oh but he hasn't won in the champions league so it's about i time. don't give a flying banana you know what i mean that. like for me psg is not a name you ever heard uh you know in terms mm. of like psg were a, a, a small club um they weren't really talked about um very much at the end of the day him signing to psg has turned psg around in terms of football knowledge in terms of people buying psg shirt i think it's absolutely transformative uh because it's changed psg for the better madly enough yeah i agree with everything you're saying i initially i was thinking of, of great because i didn't i wasn't really deep in the i guess uh global brand uh perspective because for me i was just thinking of it as purely like okay he's gone to psg where obviously we know neymar's there already and mm -hmm. it's a team that is winning the league like you know almost every single year for the last even from like ebra times and, and whatever still not winning the champions league so like no. although they no. did mention that like they're still win, winning the league every single time except that obviously that the one year was it two years ago now or, or last year or, or whatever but like i do hear it it's, it's therefore a transformative one i don't know how we ended up on a scenario where i'm on the opposite side of mav in in the mbappe going transformative <laughs> or not but I, I but i i i agree i agree i've been i've been persuaded i was only thinking about um a footballing perspective i don't think there's any way we can look past that yeah, i even yeah. think like i even think like 
maybe we're overshadowing how good he actually is on the pitch as well. Like he's incredible on the yeah. pitch, and it's just one of those unfortunate situations. Like you kind of oh no, he's where, he's he's like sensational. Yeah. Look, it, he's where sensational. He's There's a lot of times and... where he's far more influential than Neymar as well like when mm -hmm. when you have Neymar playing and there's no Mbappe it's a lot more noticeable mm -hmm. than when Mbappe is playing and there's no Neymar like Mbappe 100% therefore I, I would say it's probably more important to them um no, I 100% just, I agree I he's definitely really more important football, to I them. Uh, next up we have Angel Di Maria to Manchester United Ooh. um how much was this cost again? Di Maria was 75 million in euros so about 62 something like that 62 million pounds bloody hell this could be <laughs> this, this, uh, no, great, i don't, don't want to go there this this could be disaster i'll be real like this could actually be disaster you know I mean? I, I, I'll, I'll fight the like, I'll fight is, the I, rate, I, rate, I rate this player but it it has i can, I, I can only think of to, one but I can no only he, has he has himself be. is good yeah. he himself is good yeah. but that like, the, the fact that he, he had to, to he had to leave he's got a go disaster he has bro to. The, the guy pretended that his own house got robbed just so he had an excuse to leave uh, he has to he, he robbed I his own yard the man. Yeah. Yeah. my love for Di Maria is very high his Real Madrid days even his mm. PSG days but anywhere above disaster is just incorrect you can't you absolutely <laughs> literally can't. All, all i remember as well yeah on the pitch all i remember is like can't. He, he scored that goal versus like leicester he did his little heart thing and unless the pop to you man like five three or whatever that's like my my memory of of uh, Di Maria. i remember he chipped it over was it schmeichel back then it might have been schmeichel but uh, i don't remember who was the keeper yeah he, he scored he, he scored, he scored though, a chip yeah. and then and then Leicester just popped to you man he's not looking good breath uh yeah, thought <laughs> thoughts uh, on Di Maria? i would probably go the same i uh the only real positive you can get is uh, that they got some good money back for him but that's it really yeah I think they got some good money. I think they made like a loss of like 12 M's or so. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I didn't even think about that one to be fair. I didn't know how much he went to, to PSG for. So I, 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 I personally, for me, I don't think it matters at all. I, yeah. Shocking. Shocking. So, uh, right. Gareth Bale to Real Madrid. Um, my I boy. Think we all know my boy. This one was uh, in Euros, 100 M's. That's like what, 85 million pounds <clears throat> at the time. This was also 2013. Uh, mm. from Tottenham uh, I guess Denman that's your boy so where would you like to start for right, agendas aside so I'm just gonna go straight into it and just say it has to be top of great or the end of transformative mm. um, just the only argument for transformative would be the amount of massive goals he scored for them as well like if you think about it mm. when they're straight away Copa del Rey iconic goal goals against Liverpool mm. iconic goals I'd definitely say like top of great or even transformative like I don't think I think for me yeah. this is probably the first one that would go into great like I hear I definitely agree with what you're saying as well I'm trying to just deep it obviously he had like a a, a big hand in a couple of the the CLs as well yeah loads but of success like, like overall like he, obviously the relationship with the fans isn't great and he hasn't played like as much as you would hope for someone that you know you, you paid that amount for and obviously that's more in the, the last like what three years or whatever since the whole not four years even i guess you could say and the last four mm. years he's kind of just not really played as much as you would think he spends more time doing the whole the whole golf thing so like he's had different was... iconic moments but i think i think it's a great signing like it like the man the money back then was a lot but i think it's very justified uh, you would definitely like run it again but did he like did he change the course of Real Madrid, like uh, no, but you can say I the same. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard one because Eve, bro. I think I think I'm even leaning towards more the back of transformative just because of like the nature of the goals which he's got. But oh, they're kicking the fucking Champions League final against Liverpool no, I like, hear when it. the pressure's I hear on it. most. I hear it. Like, I hear it. Uh, I think for me personally, he has to be in um, great. The reason as to why. Bale um, or like Madrid was so successful after Bale joined was for me a lot of transfers that stacked up like they had mm. such a great team back then during the trouble um, but yeah. he had a lot of great moments he was a great player but for me personally um, especially the back end of his uh, Madrid career now mm. kind of just puts him into great for me Here, yeah Mav, I, I, I guess you I, have I, the yeah I fully mm. agree um, for me uh, I I actually had this conversation the other day with a few people 
Uh, the reason he goes in great, uh, quite simply, is because no matter what, as much as uh, as much as his performances on the pitch deserve him of being considered uh, a Real Madrid legend, a Real Madrid icon, a Real Madrid great. The fact of the matter is, is that the Real Madrid fans don't like him. The Real Madrid manager Zidane didn't like him. Can I put him in transformative when the fans don't rate you? For me, no. I do think we can take note yeah. that Madrid fans are the most spoiltest fan base. They exactly, are indeed. Exactly, yeah, but it's the valid, most valid. Exactly, but, but it's still in really transfer too. Too. So it, it's one of those that, <laughs> unfortunately, that's what he's got uh, to deal with because that is who he transferred to. So, Right, next up, we have this man on the list for the second time and he's still going to be there again. It is Romelu yeah. Lukaku, this time, going to Inter. Now, this one was for a price of 80 million united to enter 2019 i personally would go like lower great only because yeah they paid their atms he came in he bagged them a league title and they made like 20 m's profit like there's not a lot more you can ask for from that Cause obviously inter we've seen we've seen them in their prime let's say in, in our era like 2009 2010 or whatever he was a big part of why Inter became like a very, very serious team again. Potentially, we don't know yet, like at the time of recording, but he might even be going back again. I, I just, I just have to say, uh, I discussed this with an Inter fan even before mm. this, um, and I think he has to be uh, for me also a great signing, but like mm. really high grade signing, but still below mm. Bale probably. Like the amount mm. of important goals he scored was incredible and yeah. i i felt like it was a really really huge um loss for them when they lost in the um in the europa league right where yeah, he yeah, yeah. scored i i believe in almost every knockout game even yeah. in the europa league so i, I did, think... he bag, did he bag an own goal in the final i think it was yeah well. I, think I think so, so as well, well but goal. i think he also yeah. scored a normal one if i remember yeah yeah correctly. yeah 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 i believe so yeah Mavin, yeah. Demon, are you in Great. agreement with this or do you want to move him somewhere? Yeah, I'm, no, in I'm in fully in agreement. Can't add it's anything um, personally. I'm right. um, fully yeah. agreed. Calm. Then we are on to another one of uh, Barca's poster boys. Felipe Coutinho. Disaster. Is the man. Next. <laughs> Disaster. That is we have to mention disaster, disaster next. We have to mention though, at least just one time, the fact that within this signing, he went on loan to Bayern and packed them in <laughs> when they backed those eight goals he backed oh, he them was, brace he was, and he was such a he was yeah. such a decent notation player for us i couldn't yeah. believe it because it seems like this man can go anywhere no else sense, but barca and perform yeah. just not yeah. for yeah. Barca. Funny. Like, i don't get it yeah i hear it i'll put him straight there no need to waste cool. time uh edin hazard real madrid this one uh, oh, disaster 100 m's you reckon yeah 100 percent I can't, I, I can't, for me personally, where else can he go? He's literally been horrible. He's been injured consistently. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, hasn't yeah. featured in their team. Again, guys like Rodrigo, um, even Valverde would be preferred to be played out wide um, yeah. over him. And when that is the case, 100 M's, yeah, disaster. Absolutely you know what shambles. it is? I, like, I can't shambles. lie, I've been, I've been sold. Uh, like, a month ago, I'd have agreed with you, man. But literally, I'm, I think Fur had seen it, but I don't know about the other, like, if you guys have seen it. There's mm -hmm. literally a video, yeah, of, like, the Champions League celebrations. They're doing a little, like, oh, yeah. or whatever. Oh, and he does a speech, yeah. He's speaking in Spanish and he's saying, like, listen, so far I've not been able to deliver. But trust me, <laughs> I mean, for yeah. all of you guys, next... And I, I can't lie, I was sold. I this said, you know what? From you. This is poor from you, by the I way. I said, you know what? Hazard this is, is poor back. from you. I watched that year and I said, hmm. Nah. If Salah, if Salah ever tried that year, I'm not hearing it. I can't. I'm not hearing it. Salah can say <laughs> it's time for revenge, and I'm, I'm saying, yeah, that's right. You, you waffling, mate. You waffling. Hazard somehow he's got me believing it, bro. Right, bro, bro, bro just remember, hey, I mean, yo, just remember when Messi sat there and was doing the speech about him bringing the Champions League back to oh, Barcelona. No, no but even right? even that, so even, even the greatest that, he, player he, in world football said that and it didn't no, happen. No, 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 it's not about when they say it. It's about the conviction, bro. This guy was speaking like he was a mafia boss. He said, "I told all the fans, whatever." 
I say, yeah, you know what, Hazard? Next year, bro, hey, you're going to be bagging. You're going <laughs> to be the guy. But I, I hear Mavs take it. It's definitely It's just one of those ones, it, where it's just a, you know, he's been injured and stuff. And like, even when he hasn't, he hasn't really got into the team too tough. <laughs> nah, he much. convinced it's me. That... I can't lie. He convinced me. He's been so rubbish, yeah. <laughs> but so that one, rubbish. If, if you've not seen the video, just Google it. Google like, <laughs> and, it, and bro, and all the players, yeah, when he finishes his speech, they all jump on him. Yeah, yeah. Like, they believe it, fam. But, he's uh, got the sauce. He has the streets. Yeah. But oh, what, what, what was that after the Champions League that. final? Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's on the yeah. bus. Yeah. Like, that man are just happy they won. I don't think they believe to everyone. They're not. They're not just going to like awkwardly look at him. Believe a word. I know I young Dan's going to be very upset with this conversation. Yeah, speak. 100%. Nah, he's going to be fuming. I, 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 but... I, I no, even, bro. I, even... I don't know how I got sold, man. I, I, I agree <laughs> bro, with you. I, I, even, agree. I even like asked him like what speaks for yeah. Hazard's time at Madrid. And the only thing Chelsea fans say is like <laughs> he's been injured. If he's injured, yeah. that's not good, though. He's not available. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Even when, when he's, he's been, been fit, available, he has been, been average. Been bad, bro. Yeah. But anyway, we move on. Uh, mm. Gonzalo Higuain to Juventus. This was how much was it? Um, ninety million. Ninety million. Napoli to Juve, twenty sixteen. What are you <coughs> men's thoughts on Interesting this? Interesting one. I'm trying to think. I, I just where to say. I, 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 I asked. To... Uh, I asked a Juventini for this. A Juventus mm. fan. I was interested in his thoughts. Mm. Uh, sorry um, to interrupt you. I've never heard that before, and that sounds so you know, cool. I didn't remember. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's so probably not. It's so probably not cool, by the yeah, way. but it's probably, it's probably not even. Yeah, it's, it's, probably really not even it's probably not even yeah. a real thing, but I don't that know. That sounds lit. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds cool, it though. Is though. Now. It, is now. it is now. Yeah, but it's it's not their name. I can't lie. But I also Juve, I also a Juventus fan, and for me, like his argument mm. made sense because he said um yeah the money was quite a lot um and he wasn't maybe as crazy as he was in that one season for napoli like that season mm. obviously everybody knows like he, yeah, he went yeah, insane yeah. there but he says um and i agree with that like he, he still scored his goal it's probably good or underwhelming i'm i'm comfy putting him in the same tier as united lukaku so yeah, yeah, that was about we know they're cold. Uh, I think for yeah. sold me there on good. I, I think I agree. Like I, he scored his goals, so we can't we can't really. For you, yeah, for you, he, yeah, was, like, he was he, scored he was so goals, decent so. after that yeah, yeah, where yeah. it became horrible probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I agree. I, I can't okay. yeah, can't argue with that. Yeah, Come we'll on. keep him there, no worries. Um as a fellow uh Gunnarini myself, this one is gonna be interesting. Nicola Pepe. Ah, Nicola Pepe, you disaster! Get him in there now, my boy. Whoa, get do you see the picture? No, do you see care. the picture? Get him in there now. That is an absolute disaster. Oh no, you, Juventini nah, does nah, exist, nah, nah. by the way. Okay, good to know. <laughs> disaster Congrats. of a signing. Nah, I've been this on is... this guy since day one as well. By the way, this is underwhelming slash flop. I'm gonna go with flop just because you know. Disaster. Disaster. It's, it's a little bit of peace. I think it's a seventy-five slight M's. It's a... Disaster. And bro, we got cash, cash man. We got, we got nice. cash. The fact that he's been cash. left out of the side that bro, much. He's is... been he's been replaced by academy players that you already had. You can't call it a good signing. Disaster. No, no, not good. Just a, just a slight. Fall. He's no. He's not a disastrous player in my book. He's not. He's not a disastrous player in my book. It's a disaster signing. signing. It's not a disastrous player. Right? It's a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a like, disaster transfer. signing. Yeah, disaster. Horrible. Came in, got the FA Cup, got the Community Shield. Like, yeah, 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 Horrible, horrible. I think, I think, I think there's still a, there's still a like good player left in him. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Not, I don't, I don't, just me not personally, look, looking at looking at looking at Maguire in flop, I, I can't put Pepe below that. I'll be honest. Yeah, but with Pepe don't Pepe play, bro. Yeah, but yeah, Maguire but when he does, he's still better yeah, than Maguire, yeah, man. Maguire's not in disaster. It's because he's the captain and he plays. If he didn't, and he plays, if he played yeah. the same number of games as Pepe, I'll say with Chess now, he would be in disaster. Hundred percent. But isn't it isn't it the worse yet yeah, that he, that Maguire is so bad and he no, is always only, playing? It's, that's it's that's it's more detrimental. Saving, it's the only thing that saved him. The absolute waste, man. I hate Maguire, <laughs> but it's the only <laughs> thing that saved him. All right, so so Pepe we can all shake hands and agree. We can all agree. Low flop. We all agree. No, right. no, 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 no. It's a disaster. disaster. He, as a player, disaster. he's great. Like, he actually is good as a player. Like, he actually is a good player. You can tell. But, like, yeah, horror disaster. signing. Horror just firm, just firm okay, okay, all right. Bayern <laughs> Ini. Uh, Wait. Furhat. 
Where are you slapping this guy? Muted. Lucas Hernandez. Oh, no, I'll be honest. I ain't yeah, got a clue about this, so I'm gonna just let you Lucas, say whatever you want to say. Yeah. I couldn't care. I'm not oh, interested. Is it? Lucas, yeah, Lucas, sorry. Lucas, 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 Lucas. Yeah, today so, was yeah, the yeah. Milan one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, for her. <laughs> uh, you put in wherever you want, mate, because I don't yeah. care. So for me personally, you know, I feel like this mm. transfer is a bit uh, gone under the radar just because people don't watch Bundesliga, which is fair enough. Um, he's probably easily our best defender. Man, <laughs> why, why, why is he moving? Why is Pepe moving? Um, he's probably easily our best defender, I think. Um, he has the versatility to play as a centre-back in a four, in a three, as a left-back. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just have to put him at the top of good. At the Fair top enough. of good. No, I don't, I don't Does anyone have any info that could like, disagree? Because I don't know. I agree I with the button boy. So. Sure. Uh, the top of good. The only I'm thing that would have made him great is mm. if he was actually very um, active in our Champions League run, which he wasn't. And if he didn't have the yeah. personal life files there as well. Oh, so, yeah. Um, I mean, it, that's so not tough. Ronaldo's at the at, top of our list, so... It's so yeah. tough. Yeah, but that was, that was 09, 09 to be fair. Hey, that, 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 that was 09, to be fair. That out the, uh, yesterday or the other day, so... Wrong, but we're not going to get into that one on the pod. <laughs> that is <laughs> Officially got uh, out. Next, next up, we have Luis Suarez again. I'm gonna, I'm not giving any opinion on him because to me, I wrote it on my notes app. Everyone was like, good or great. I put just rat next to his name, so you guys <laughs> can take the floor with yeah. this one. I'm not giving. I mean, that's the easy Suarez. one, though. I it's an I. easy one. Yeah, yeah. I, he, he fits. Easy one. He's the same as Neymar for me. Absolutely, like, yeah. Out absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm underwhelmed. I mean, the fact that you can bite someone <laughs> in 2010. <laughs> and then bite someone again in 2013. Like he had a three-year break from biting people. And rather than even learn his, his lessons, he thought, you know what? Let me dash in a bit of racism as well. Because, like, you know, <laughs> wh wh why not? Let me dash in a bit of racism again before I go bite someone else. So I'm, I'm underwhelmed by his ability to act as a decent people, and functioning member of society. Yeah, so it's going to be underwhelmed. And maybe you don't want to catch strays because he knows we're all putting him in transformative and he's putting him in underwhelmed so first. Yeah. Uh, transformative. So I think that, that averages <laughs> out. With three transformatives and one underwhelming, that averages to about to grow. good. Great. <laughs> uh, one of the, he's one it. of my most hated football players of all time, but I always have to admit that this guy is one of the greatest players to play football in our generation. I put him above and Pape. I put him above and Pape personally. Yep. Yeah, wow, that's he's, 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 he's above the black man. Fair enough. And for her as well. First. Yeah, that's okay. it, man. You do your thing, man. You, 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 you put Just all make that Of course, make. <laughs> probably, probably it has to be. Probably has to be above, uh, above Neymar as well. No, uh, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm no, 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 I don't nothing, no, no, nothing, no, 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 no. Me, me personally, I'm not allowing it. I'm not allowing that. I'm not oh, yeah, allowing it. I'm, I'm not allowing it either. Yeah, I'm not allowing it. And w when you think of it as well, to be fair, if you want to add to Neymar's thing, he mm -hmm. got sold for like double the amount that they, not double, but like a, a significantly. Oh, yeah, uh, Suarez going, amount. to be fair. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, his yeah, his departure yeah, wasn't the best. Yeah. But it, yeah. So how, how yeah, about I that? I don't know. Right. Like as as Bang. horrible as a human, he's a disaster for me. But like as a football, yeah, Neymar's above crazy. him. Okay, who we got next? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we have uh, Sui again. Speaking of human beings that are interesting, uh, uh, this one was a hundred million, uh, twenty eighteen. This should be quite interesting because this is one where I was kind of stuck. I can't lie. Uh, the fact I was stuck that between two as well. Yeah, I'm stuck between underwhelming and good. Uh, the reason the mm. reason I'm going to go for good is I've looked who's in there. I've looked at the criteria that for the reason we've put them in there. So yeah. I've put in bottom of the good. The shirt sales go through the roof. Uh, again, um, the viewership on your of all games that you play go through the roof. And no matter what, he did get top goal scorer in the Serie A uh, across multiple seasons. Uh, I'd, uh, say bo I'd say bottom of I'll, good. I'll, 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 I'll go in between gonna, Lukaku yeah, and Higuain. Slightly. I was even going to put him above Lukaku low-key, but I, that's just probably me. I, I have to agree. The only thing that would put him into great signing or even like higher than that is literally the image he comes with, obviously. Yeah. Like, he sold yeah. so many shirts when he went over. Football level, you probably have to put him in good. He didn't really. Yeah, I mean, them and them and were fighting like for fourth for a while. Yeah, as he didn't well, really perform is, yeah. as as good. It's not as really his people, fault. Obviously, um, yeah. would have expected. And like, I found it yeah. crazy when when Juventus fans came to me in the last season he was there, 
and told me mm. Kiesa is our best player this season. There you have I, it. I, I Fohat like, is now a Juventini ITK. He has the inside scoop on yeah, all but, the like, things like, Juventus. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Like, Ronaldo... Oh, right, we're getting on to the last few. We have eight left to go, so we'll try to get through these. Uh, Ousmane Dembele, Barcelona. The price was 105 M's. 2017. Nobody's coming to dance. Uh, it's, because it's, it's quite tough. It's underwhelming. It's underwhelming, underwhelming. It's it's underwhelming, underwhelming. for me. Um, just again, injury issues. The guys made a glass. Yeah. It, it, was, it was literally four him. months ago they were calling him like like the worst player ever. They were booing him and stuff. And he was yeah. like, in that era, like that couple months, he was like probably, you can argue, their best player at the time. When even they when they were booing him, him and hounding him and that. So. Yeah, even though when yeah. they were hounding him and stuff, he was still showing like, little promising yeah, moments yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. and also I think this is obviously I know some Chelsea fans and Madrid fans are going to argue well, oh well, why is Hazard there but like this is the prime example of someone who's had injuries and obviously has come back from injuries and hit the ground running kind of thing yeah. and showed that there's a player there and kind of put in performances and stuff as well Yeah. so yeah. I think underwhelming is fair he, get, he gets a lot of blame for that um that Liverpool thing as well, but they won't talk about the Messi's missed chances. But anyway, no, um, but yeah, yeah, all tight Dembele, uh, underwhelming. This one, <laughs> uh, Jaden Sancho, we're not going to spend long on because this is one that we've done underwhelming uh, somewhat yeah, recently. We're going to slap yeah, him underwhelming, so we're not yeah. even going to bother discussing him. If you don't know, go check the other video, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have PSG Neymar. We already have a Neymar up there in transformative. Are we going to see somebody? get into transformative twice no or uh, no no great no signing way. great signing um Ooh. reason not quite transformative is because again injuries it, at the end of the day a lot of these players injuries um are the reason if he was playing as consistently as mbappe has since his arrival he would be in transformative just great for me on a tangent i'd even say like this might be unpopular but fair enough i think in terms of the signing itself and what it's done for the club individually and like what he's done for that i'd put him probably below bail and um, lukaku personally people like to talk about winning things nowadays so mm -hmm. in that case with that argument you're gonna have to we do like to sadly, talk about it you're gonna have to One sadly you put neymar like, underneath yeah. lukaku um <laughs> there's the year seven argument for many affairs keep it moving um but <laughs> he just had uh, to okay. there's no top of players where, on it where, he still has to kind of do it where would you like I'd to put him, him? Yeah, personally below them too. It feels wrong. But I know it's like per player in that, but I just... What Neymar has offered, is it less than what Lukaku offered to Inter for that little two yeah. years? Uh, I, f I, I think right. that's that's totally fine. He's he's yeah. he's done, you know, uh, quite mm -hmm. a bit for the club. Maybe not as much as some people expected when he had the mm. transfer. But I, I think he's still been good. Hear it. Uh, up next, one of the ones that just about scraped onto the list. He might be leaving soon. I don't know. Uh, 75 M's from Ajax to Barcelona. Underwhelming. Frankie de Jong. Underwhelming for me. No, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. I think oh, it's tough, isn't it? Because he is good. And anytime I've seen oh, him, he has been good. He's actually incredible. Bro. I was leaning but towards like, it being Barca a good are just kind of. Just because of like. Yeah. But I, go on, man. You go off. Go off. No, no, I'm going to say that pretty much the same thing as you. Like, I think he's been a good signing for them because, again, he was kind of hot property at the time. He hasn't been, like, stinking it up. It's just that Barca as a whole have been quite bad whilst he's been there. Tough one. I, I'm down to go below Higuain, but I'll, I'll hear what you like. I understand. The cl so, he's the per he, like, for Barcelona, what they wanted to do with bringing the players in who they were bringing in, it was obviously mm. a good sign. It was a great signing, like... Is the perfect player who they wanted to bring in to kind of like rebuild like Barcelona back up to kind of like the top. Um, but at mm. the same time, I kind of do understand why Mavs put him in under one. He was bought to replace Sergio Busquets, realistically. Um, uh, Busquets kind of getting older. And at the end of the day, it turned out for them the way they wanted to play that Busquets was still getting played consistently week in, week out. I think at the end of the day, when you buy a player with, with the mind of replacing someone and that person you're trying to replace still has to be played because you're not quite good enough. That's why it's underwhelming, but obviously, whatever you guys think. For uh, you have the deciding vote, I suppose. I think myself and Demo went low good. Uh, Mav wants underwhelming, so it's down to you, pretty much. What are we saying? Uh, yeah, I think I think um, I think he can be either low good or high underwhelming. I wouldn't be um, against either of them I, I just feel like he kind of for me personally at least when i always watch him he kind of goes uh missing in the 
bit bigger games. First, so we are two two. So literally, uh, we'll that. just we'll slap him above Grealish, I suppose, in underwhelming. That ain't uh -huh. a problem to me. It's fine by me. Cool. This one shouldn't need much debating at all. Transformative. I don't think... Next. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to for the bad spot. <laughs> just game Actually, now that I think man. about it, for the twerking, for it. the twerking alone mm. on, the, on the Champions League final, uh, he should go down yeah. in disaster. But um, transformative. <laughs> one of the Gareth best Bale. in football history. Mm. Gareth Bale scored a nope. lot of Champions League finals, and Van Dijk in the final. <laughs> no. Nope. Ooh. Nope. No. Okay. Fine. Get him in there. In terms of footballing ability, like he, I, he'd even go above. Like, nah, yeah, probably there's fun. Similar to CR7 in Madrid, might be one of the easiest ones so far. This, this is a disaster of the highest proportions. To come in for the amount that he came in for, and then within about two months, he's crying, doing interviews, saying like, I never wanted to come. I'm so sorry, <laughs> in Inter fans. You know, I shouldn't have gone. I'll be back very soon, guys. And then you get benched for like all the big games. No, man. Disaster for me. We spoke about it before, of course. It's a I lot think of money. It's a lot of money. We all going to agree on the disaster one? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Comfy. Absolutely. Comfy. Absolutely. There's, no, there's yeah. nowhere else for that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, last two. Right. We have uh, another Man City signing. Just their second one, surprisingly. Yeah. Only two signings are in the top 30. Kevin De Bruyne, whereabouts does he go for Man City? 75, 75 million. million. 75 million. Yes. I thought, I'd I thought about, about, about 62 in yeah, I thought, I'd say, yeah, I'm just going to go and straight and say back end of transformative. I think he's a flipping world class midfielder. Agree. Absolutely incredible. Like, go, it will go down as one of the best midfielders in history, like, especially in the Premier League. I agree. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think City fans expected to find a player that would go above the likes of Yaya Torre, David Silva for them, even Aguero. Um, for me personally, he is, I think, the biggest sign in Man City have ever made. Back end of transformative or high grade, but mm. probably back end of transformative because, like, mm. Mm -hmm. for what the transfer was back at the time, and obviously, mm. like, people weren't so sure because players coming from oh, the he Bundesliga, was he was landed, bro. Yeah, yeah. he was he, like, he mm -hmm. came from the Bundesliga, he already was in the Prem before. Yeah, exactly. That's the big so, thing. So, like, the way he turned out has yeah. to be transformative. And last but not least, Oh, we have Kai Havertz. I know already Chelsea fans are going to be putting in their Twitter community, they're going to be putting <laughs> Havertz holding the trophy, Havertz doing the gif of him around the keeper bro. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you lot's thoughts on Kai Havertz? It's going to say good sign, isn't it? Like, yeah. That's just a, it's, just, it's just a good sign. Like, there's, yeah. there's obviously a player in there. Like You know that he's got quality, like bags of quality and ability, but at the same time, like... He's not done enough to be sharing the stage with Bale, Lukaku, and Neymar for their retrospective signings. Mm. Um, some people might even say underwhelming, but I'd say he's been a good signing personally. Yeah, I, I am. I am. So, I am some people because I think this is where again, of course, before anyone says anything, a salty. Oh, you don't have Champions League. I, I agree. I'm salty. I'd like to get Champions League. <laughs> I always say that. But yeah, yeah. if someone just bags you a champions league winner right which again like amazing achievement and he scored like a pen in the super cup or whatever that club world cup mm. whatever that thing is does that excuse you from just being very meaty for like almost the entire rest of your period there and having like two or three decent games here and there i don't know like i think he's a good sign in for and and reason i personally say good is because um mm. he fits the system they play under Tuchel extremely well. I wouldn't say I wouldn't mm. say he's been a flop. Um, I wouldn't say he's been a great. No, signing. definitely not just flop. Definitely flop. Uh, 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 I, I, I just I just say it's just been good for me. It's a it's a difficult one to judge, but I would just just because of the big games that he did have for Chelsea, which are like two, or maybe I'm forgetting one. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Uh, two, three. Um, I, I I think I think you can put him at the very back end of good. I'm not even mm. sure if um, if the transfer to Chelsea kind of fit him personally. Like that's why I was confused about the yeah. thing that he that it, it makes sense. I didn't I didn't really agree with that at all in terms of uh, him suiting both. Of course, the Chelsea fans they're gonna love him as well. So I guess that factors in. Um, so that is our uh, list. I'm not gonna read them all out because there's a lot of names there. But if you're somehow listening on Spotify, just open. YouTube, please, and just look at the list or whatever. I'll put it on Twitter, maybe in the little space for you guys to debate as well. Um, I think I'm pretty satisfied with this, to be fair. A lot of transformative ones, but equally a lot of disasters as well. 
the moral we've seen here is uh if you're gonna spend more than 70 m's be rich enough to be able to to firm it, <laughs> to just, front it yeah yeah, yeah. Firm. yeah it, it might it might get uh, a bit sticky um but that's Let's gonna be, be all for one this one done. yeah that's gonna be all for this one so if you disagree with anything as always leave it in the comments or now the twitter community bang you can leave your comments there <laughs> You can clip anyone's takes if you want to. You don't like it. I think next week we are finally back with the drafts and we have some more top 10 chaos coming soon. This was more of like a, just a chill, easy tier list just to like pass some time during, uh, I guess, the off season, if you will. So much love as always for these men to coming through. Uh, appreciate it. Go follow them. Go do the usual stuff. And I'll catch you, man, in a bit. Safe.